with uh, PICL in general, we see more flare-up than we would with something like a posterior PRP injection in most patients. But we've got a pretty broad response, which is really what brings this question up so much. So why do some people shrug this off? Because I literally have patients that tell me, ah, you know, I was a little sore, but no big deal. I never really used any of that pain medication you gave me. Um, versus patients that can go the other direction, right? And uh, so what's the difference between these two polar opposites? So again, to review real quickly, for most people, about two thirds, we get seven to 10 days of flare up. For another 15% on either side, it's a couple days. And then on the other side of that coin, a couple of weeks. And if we add in the extremes on both ends, what we'll see is that we get literally patients who say, did you do something to me? Because I didn't really notice it all that much. Uh, versus people who take a couple of months to recover from a pre post-procedural flare-up.